it's up to me what I do. So I can decide, I can make the rules. I don't have to rely on anybody telling me what I should and shouldn't do. And you know what? Freedom. That's the biggest thing for me, because I, I live or die by how good or bad I make that. That's one of the reasons why I actually like the way that I paint, because of its physicality, its effort. It actually requires a bit of sweat and sometimes some blood and an awful lot of tears to actually get something done. If you don't do anything over and above, everything just stays the same, which is fine if you're happy to do that. But if you want to make a change, if you want to do that one thing in your life that is different, because the clock's ticking, you don't get a second chance, then fear, that's the only thing holding you back. It won't be the quality of the work. It won't be that you can't find a market or build a website. You can learn on that. It'll be your own fear. This is the main headquarters, so this is the gallery uh, in Stroud on Bath Road. Um, 6,000 square foot of gallery space, plus admin, plus the finishing room. And then I've got the main studio, and that's where I do most of the, probably the vast majority of work you see on the site, about 80% of what I do on the site. But bear in mind, it's just, it, you know, this whole thing, this is me and my best friend of 20 years, Adrian, who works with me as well in the business. So it's, it's important I mention him as well because you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without him. It's gone beyond now just being one person, even though I still spend 18 hours a day on it in some way, shape or form. Everything is hand-stretched, it's hand-assembled, obviously it's hand-painted over a number of different sessions. If you're trying to create something that's different, you've got to put the work in, you know. It does require some elbow grease to make things a little bit special. I'm just going to paint what I want because I love it. And I, I'm putting it out there and inviting the world to love it too. And those few people that really like it, as long as in the years to come they keep looking at it and think, yeah, I'm really glad I met that guy and I really like my piece of art. Do you know what? Job done. And if just one person felt like that, well, you've changed someone's life. Can't put a price on that, can you? That's the best bit. Yeah.